Okay, so I've changed my part out here to a finished part with some milled surfaces on it. Now, the edge finder is only good within about a thousandth of an inch. If my part has to be absolutely correct the first time and I don't have a probe, then I'm gonna go to my indicator. I'm gonna jog down and I'm gonna indicate that left edge of the part from both the left side and from the right side. We're gonna take those two values and average them, right? We're gonna add them together and then divide by two. So, indicating the left side of my part, pretty straightforward. I just bring down my indicator and sweep it. But how do I get to the right edge of that part? It's not possible. So, we can grab a one, two, three block, set it up against the side of our part, and sweep that for the right side. But here's the trick. Find a nice flat ground insert, like the one I've got here. This one is really easy to hold up against the side of our part. I'm gonna go ahead and jog that indicator over until it makes contact with my insert. I'm then gonna sweep the insert until I can find the high spot. Once I find that high spot, I'm gonna switch to a one-tenth increment, and I'm gonna jog in until my indicator reads zero. Once there, I'm gonna sweep it again, making sure I'm still on that high spot. I have now found that edge while coming at it from the right side of my part. Without touching the indicator at all, I'm gonna come up to my x-axis to an offset I'm not using and press part zero set to record that number for later. Now I'm gonna rotate my indicator around 180 degrees, being really careful not to bump that indicator. I'm gonna jog over and down. I'm gonna jog in. Once I'm close, I switch to one-tenth of a thou increment. I'm gonna sweep my part until I find the high spot and then hand jog in until my indicator reads zero. I'm gonna double check it again by rotating it, making sure I'm still on the high spot. That's my edge from the left side. So I now have two values on my offset page. I'm gonna add those two values together and divide by two. That new value is the machine coordinate position directly above the edge of my part, my G54X value. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the, the Y axis edge now. Okay, now we've set our work offset, right, X and Y, but just like before, we need to check to make sure we didn't goof something up. We're gonna switch to some pointy tool, like a chamfer tool or a drill. I'm gonna command G54, G0, G90, X0, Y0. I'm gonna press cycle start. I'm gonna jog down and see how things look. That looks really good. Okay, so at least visually, right, we know we're in the right spot. Okay, this brings us to the final tool we're gonna show you today our Heimer 3D sensor. This indicator works in all directions, X, Y, and Z. And we're gonna use it instead of an edge finder today. We're gonna go ahead and jog down next to our part just like we would with an edge finder. Except with this indicator, we don't start the spindle. We simply jog up against the edge of our part. Now, as I move sideways, you'll see that my indicator starts to move, both the small and the large needle. Keep going until both needles land on the zero. I'm switching to point zero, 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 one, a little finer adjustment, and that's it. So right now, you can see that the indicator tip is actually bent sideways, because what's happened is this indicator was already calibrated to put the center line of our spindle right above our edge of our part when both those large and small dials read zero. It's compensating for the, for the ball at the end of that stylus. So with this indicator at zero, zero, all I have to do is go to my offset page and press part zero set. We're done, that was it. Just jog up against the edge of a part, press part zero set. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move it back here and set my Y. So we've shown you how to use an edge finder. We've shown you how to uh, really accurately pick up an edge with an indicator. And we've showed you how simple it is to use a 3D sensor. Well, remember, no matter how you set your work offset, be sure to, to, to load up a pointy tool in the spindle, right? The chamfer tool or drill. Command it to go to your G54X0Y0 or whatever work offset you're using just to verify that, that things are where you think they should be. Well, thanks again for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Mm -hmm.